Hi, I'm Pericles Tivayas from True North Partners in the University of Nicosia, and I'm really glad to have Sajid Iqbal with me uh, here to discuss a little bit about fintech and the implications that it has in the risk management space. Yeah, sure. Thank you, and uh, thank you for inviting me and uh, allowing me to have a conversation with you. So regarding uh, fintech and risk management, I think a lot of things are happening uh, in the space. And uh, we, ha we have seen a lot of uh, quantitative models uh, coming through fintech and they are designing new uh, solutions as well. And the new technology is really impacting the way we are working. But I would like to point out uh, that uh, in risk management in particular, <clears throat> so we have we have new things coming in, in financial institutions uh, because I'm working for a financial institution, so I will comment from that side that a lot of uh, fintech solutions, a lot of AI solutions, everything is coming and everyone is talking about that, but no one is talking about how we need to change the way we are managing the risk. Because for me, we are managing, managing the risk uh, the old way. I mean, what we have learned in, in the in the academics and through the books that there are certain quantitative models we have to follow, we need to measure a certain way. So, I mean, with the advancement, uh, we also need to advance, not in terms of the technology, but in terms of the way we are thinking and the way we are perceiving the risk, that how risk can be managed more efficiently. And the way to do this is to put more uh, focus on uh, on on understanding the risk rather computing the risk and presenting it because I have seen that people are presenting the boxes red blue yellow colors and a lot of color a lot of boxes a lot of uh, data <clears throat> but even a few of them cannot I mean only few of them can make a sense of it out of it but a lot of people are just presenting the data and they cannot make sense out of it from a risk management but they cannot give uh, one true statement to the management that what is the risk and they're just presenting a whole lot, lot bunch of matrices yeah. and other things. Yeah, so so we have to rethink the way we're thinking about risk management. What about getting the people to change the way they're thinking about risk yeah, management? Yeah, that's very important actually. And I believe uh, because we have a problem, we have a people problem, uh, not in a sense that <clears throat> we don't have, uh, because we don't have a qualified people and there are certain uh, number of people who are doing that, but we are not training enough. I mean, we have we are hiring people based on certain qualifications. That's okay, but then we need to teach them how to take the risk, rather how to manage the risk. Because until unless they are not understanding that how risk is occurring and what kind of a risk uh, taking is happening, and they cannot manage it. I mean, they can just produce the numbers. But to, to make it effective and the way we are moving towards the new things and new uncertain things are coming, I think it's very essential for the companies to train their staff. And one more important point, uh, whenever there is a new thing coming, we are just searching for the new people. If there is a new, like we have discover, discussed about the crypto, we have discussed about the ESG. So, for example, if I want to implement a climate risk in my uh, company, I will try to find new people. But the problem with new people that will come and then they will start understanding your company and then they will just apply certain fixed formats. And that is not the risk management. Risk management is you need to invest on your existing people who know what you are doing and then try to train them how to manage risk and how to see the risk in different perspectives. We, we're moving to a, a world that is uh, risk management is fintech enabled, but there's new risks that are coming from there as well. And obviously we have to think of risks differently. Do you think that this new visualization, it needs to be uh, com competitive to what we understand right now, or would it be complementary? And if so, we, are there any elements that we really should throw away at the moment? No, I think uh, <clears throat> the good risk management is all about continuity. I mean, we cannot create uh, something new out of anything. So we should continue w what we are doing, but we need to enhance. So it should be a complementary, like we need to understand the things uh, from a different perspective. So that existing risk management is okay. It's not that all, I mean, we need to throw out, but 
we need to continue and try to enhance the way the technology is enhancing and the way we have new things in risk, man risk management. So we need to complement with the new thoughts, new thought provoking ideas, uh, how to manage risk. And particularly we have very straightforward kind of risk like credit, liquidity or market. But we have, we have another kind of risk which is operational risk, which requires a lot of, lot of new ways to handle. So unfortunately, till date, today, we are trying to manage operational risk. It's just a risk, asset, a risk class. So we are not putting enough understanding, we are not putting enough training, and we are not investing enough into our people uh, to manage the operational risk more better. Yeah. We are just treating it like that. Because just like history, risk may not always repeat itself, but it often rhymes. Yeah. Right?